Appreciate the follow there. It's Josev. If I'm saying that correct, looks like we're getting things underway here. I'm gonna have to add in the names. I'm jumping between a whole bunch of things with managing things right now. But I'll update that here in a hot second. We're getting Sonic versus Meta Knight in this one. This is absolutely not one I'm used to watching mm -hmm. by any means. For um, sure. Let's see here. Oh, I think they might have. I, I, this might not be the correct stage. I'm assuming that's why. Um, yeah, could well be. SDing. Oops. I thought it was just uh, like fun check. Did the things. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's let's see here. I haven't heard back from the RJW key group. All right, now we'll get underway, I suppose. All right, cool, cool. Just wrapping things up here. So this is definitely not a match I am used to seeing. Like, I've, I've seen a little bit of Mad Knight. So we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on how they are finding, if any, of like those um those up air bridges, those up air ladders. Because that'll be one very good way they can land some of their skills. Although Sonic's not a super big character, so it could be a little bit harder to mm -hmm. find those hits. Meanwhile. Oh yeah, sorry, so go. Go for it. I was just about to say could well be, just agreeing with you there. Yeah. Meanwhile, Sonic is well, we know we know what Sonic likes to do. Like I like to see the spin dashes, the spin charges, mostly spin dashes though. Mm -hmm. Trying to come Yo, those... did he just spin dash? <laughs> Yo, did he just spin dash? But especially with Town and City, just because the edges of the stage are fairly close to the platform, exactly finding those fares off to the side can be very deadly very quickly. Mm -hmm. I think I'll update Goku's name here to what it is in Smash GG. Oh, yes, good call. Good like call. that. It won't be updated on the. Uh ping tester in the top left, but that's kind of set in stone unless you restart the whole thing. But, that's A-OK. -okay. Yeah. We can tell anyway. Oh, nice down B by A there. Yeah. Um, definitely gonna have to see. Let's see, so Ye is at a 110%, but Sonic can sometimes struggle to kill though, especially mm -hmm. once they get out of that spin dash to that forward air. Mm -hmm. range but you also like that s smash is a fantastic tool to find that kill especially with a good read and just like it's just such a big move right so mm -hmm. it can sometimes be hard to play around it sometimes yeah definitely can be i feel like sonic is one of those characters that can potentially get some early ish kills off the side if they get the spin dash to fair or something like that but backer is also going to be a pretty strong move and one of the good kill options from on stage but a lot of the time sonic can definitely struggle to kill as you were saying but it's good at rack amp damage nice parry very good parry. Doesn't get anything off of it, but still, still a good parry nonetheless. Which, <laughs> Wi-Fi, definitely not the easiest thing in the world to do. Yeah, for sure. Right now, I will say though, similarly, Meta Knight can also sometimes struggle to kill as well from what I've seen. Especially, like, they have good edge guarding, but Sonic also has a lot of versatility in how they can recover, so it can be quite tough. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice Ooh. up B there. Very nice. Lands both of those hits and finds the kill off of the top. Mm -hmm. right, getting some decent damage onto Ye there. Oh, good back here. Not going to be enough yet, though. Yeah, and right now, Ye is just kind of chasing Daige all across the stage. Just not mm -hmm. letting up on the pressure. He's staying in the air there for a good while. Something that Meta Knight can definitely be very good at. Rapid Jab seems to be a nice F smash. Rapid Jab seems to be a good option to, to punish some of Sonic's options, it seems like. 
Absolutely, just because, like, there's just so many hits um, throughout there, so if they want to spin dash towards you, they're going to get hit by it. Mm -hmm. Unless they can try to jump and, like, go over it, but if they do not do that, they are just going to get interrupted for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that smash. The punch Good. through the knee. I'm going to take that stock. So I used to be an adventurer like you. <laughs> used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an S-Mash to the knee. But then... But then Sonic punched me into Minecraft. Oh god, I forgot about that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very nice tech from Daige. Pretty much saved his life right there. Mm -hmm. But... Oh, right good. now? Do air dodge, a spot dodge there. And Daige is just trying to rack up as much extra credit as they can before they lose this, this next stock. Mm -hmm. And RA 53% is a decent bit of extra credit, and it seems like that's going to be what they're stuck with. Yeah. But, you know what? Yeah, if I'm dying right now, I am feeling pretty happy right now. And with, I mean, there's about three minutes left on the clock, so... I'm, like... Yeah, is high enough percent where they don't need to be looking for that timeout, but it's like, mm. if things slow down, it's a non-trivial option. Yeah, it can definitely be an option there. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna work there. Yeah, he still hasn't... Having not gotten a hit on this stock, never mind. As soon as you say that, the caster curse coming in clutch. The good old commentator's curse. Back here, not enough yet. Interesting recovery, able to shield just in time. Yep, Ooh, once again. Tried to find these S smashes, but not quite able to land them. Man, Knight does not have a ton of end lag on his moves, so mm -hmm. it can be tough to get those whiff punches. Mm -hmm. Definitely can. Different ways that Meta Knight lands, you think you can get a punish, and then turns out that you can't. Yeah, that smash particularly. I'm actually curious how many. Um, I haven't seen how many crazy spend like it has, but it's certainly not many. Yeah, definitely not a lot. Ooh. So I saw that first up air hit, and I like I held my breath for a moment. I was like, oh no, is this where the bridge? Is this where <laughs> it happens? <laughs> this is where we get the bridge? Yeah, Sonic not back air could definitely take things here. If we see one happen. Oh, that! Ooh. Oh, but a good mix-up though, landing behind Daige right there, mm -hmm. and able to survive come back. What was that hitbox? Sonic back air, by the way. But My I think, goodness, best yeah, of that five was is the semifinals and up carve. Yeah, you should be able to also find all the tournament information on the official rule set for the for the page. Yeah, semifinals been, and up. They must have been barely but, behind men. But right also got to wait for stream and a stream for for winner's quarterfinals and whatnot regardless is the thing. So we'll be streaming, streaming those is the case. The one happened off stream and I mentioned it to the, uh, I mentioned it to the players and they never responded to anything I had to say. And I, <laughs> that was the best of situations. Got hit with the refer to the syllabus. Yep. Refer to the class syllabus. Yep. Absolutely refer to the class syllabus. Is winner's semifinals it up? It's own no, it's just a different sorry, I was like so confused. I wasn't seeing things here properly. But I see it now. Okay, so I see that all those things are scheduled for on stream and a stream for sure. Yes. That's just like to let people know. It's like, hey, you should not play this match yet. Yeah. We will be streaming you. Indeed. Because those are the matches that we want in stream and a stream, do you know? The really spicy ones. We got the Robin switch up here. All right, I like what I see. I like what I see. Yeah, says the Robin main. <laughs> Listen, I am not biased, biased whatsoever in the slightest. <laughs> All right, we have Daige once again as I... Sonic and Yai as Robin here. I think that is what is their name from. I think I do recognize them as a Robin main. That was probably <laughs> it, honestly. <laughs> oh my, Sonic thing's coming out. Yeah, this is a weird matchup. Like, Ooh. you can try... If, as, as evidence there, if you find that hit, you can definitely rack up a ton of percent. But Jeez, oh, that was an 18-second stock. 
very nice from Mie to find that Nair off the stage as Daigi tries to recover. But Ooh, are we gonna see Daigi. another 20 second stalk? Daigi's trying to answer back. Oh my goodness. Oh, good very punish. Nice. Reads the new the air dodge in, finds the Nostradu and heals up a little bit. So honestly, mm -hmm. sitting even better now. For sure. Avoiding that F smash. Yeah, Goku very much wanting these paunches. For so yep, yeah, sure. this is this is where I expect the yep, this game is gonna slow down a lot more. Arc Thunder is a fantastic anti-spin dash tool because mm -hmm. it essentially forces the jump out of the Sonic. Otherwise, yeah, they're gonna take three in a row and take 70% damage. <laughs> Yeah, that was a that was a lot there. Now it's gonna need to charge back up both the Eleven Sword and the Thunder Tone, but both about to be charged up. Ooh, not yep, quite connecting yep. with the forward air. Yeah, he's just kind of playing keep away, waiting for the tomes to recharge. And now Thunder's back on deck, so that means it's gonna be some more charging time. Not landing any of these eleven sword hits though. Back to the bronze sword. Good shield on the back air. Oh, oh, good but... punish on the jump out of shit. Oh, the snipe! All right, Daya in at 100, 124%. And now, oh, the arc fire left trap. This is a scary moment. Ooh. Finds the L wind spike to close out the stock. Jeez. Yeah, he's sitting at three stocks here with Daige sitting at their last stock here. The oh my goodness. Yeah, Robin can definitely rack up some damage in the right hands. Yep, at low percent, that fair will just combo into anything. Hmm. Fair into imagination. Fair into imagination. Into imagination box. We don't have the Elwyn Tome on deck right now. It's about Fine, to be Yeah, can recover. There yep, it is. Yeah, can absolutely recover. They can stall it out. But Daige is doing a good job staying patient and punishing the options. But nice cheeky Ooh. shark from Ye to mm -hmm. get them off the ledge. Oh, this back is absolutely going to kill, though. Yeah, that's definitely going to kill there. Yeah, down to two stocks. But still a stock ahead here and getting extra credit. Yeah, this is a point where technically Ye could just pretty much camp out and force Daige into the approach. But honestly, with how early they've been killing, I can see them just wanting to end it right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, connecting in the back air there, getting it sneaky sneaky after that spin dash. If there's the Arc Thunder charge up. <laughs> Jinx there. This is where it's scary. Because yep, there's the jump and essentially oh, not you have time. to jump there. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, you're just going to get hit. And right now, Daigi is sitting at a pretty high percent. This is very, very scary. Mm -hmm. We're not quite getting the Arc Thunder onto the stage. They're hitting the stage itself. A smidge. Ooh, almost punishing that jump. Yeah, right now, Ye is throwing out the Arc Thunders pretty much as soon as Spin Dash comes out. I wonder if we're going to see them transition to not throwing out and just instantly going for the jump. Free. I feel like we're going to be seeing that at some point, though. Mm-hmm. Getting the bonk there. And Elwynn in the middle of the stage there. Interesting option, but... Yeah, just gonna get rid of the Eleven Swords so it comes back with a full charge here soon enough. And right now, Yei's just trying to play a lot of keep away. I mean, Ooh. just hitting the... Just waiting for the opportunity. Lands the Elwynn spike. And takes, this, takes the game two stocks up. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big turnaround from what we saw last game, now that we have the Robin switch up. Definitely seems like. Yeah, Ye got a ton of early damage, especially in that those first couple stocks. Here's, like, as you mentioned, like a 20 second stock to begin the it game. It was like 18 seconds, I think. Yeah. Like, Arc, th like, arc Fire getting a combo started. Lots of aerials, and just overall, it was just an absolute massacre. But yeah, I will say, though, um, Daya did start to figure some things out as the game went on. So I do not expect it to be, like, assuming characters stay the same, it will not be nearly um, a sweet, it's such a swinging start as it, it was in the second game. Yeah, I'm most going likely. to. You don't see that super okay. duper often. It was a very strong start, but not the kind of thing you're going to see consistently. Yeah, I do wish that there was a better format for me, knowing exactly what stages are banned, and doing it. Like, I can technically see some stuff, and use my layout to the way that it's meant to be used. Choosing stages, apparently.
Where shall we be going, I wonder? So I personally think Sonic likes a lot of some of the... So... Like, he likes going really fast. F yeah, likes going fast. Like, I think some of the <laughs> more flat stages, like FD, Kalos, um, they like a lot. But mm. Smashville can be good, um, just because small stage, so the Robin doesn't have as much room to set up. Could well be. I know that some Sonics like playing on stages like Town, jumping between yeah. the larger, further apart platforms. Yeah, I think Town would be a very good pick for Daigate here. Yep, we're going to see the consistent characters, so we will see where they end up going. Where shall we be going for game three here? Our final game in this set. And town it looks like it is. is. It is Talon yeah. after all, as we were just talking about that. Immediately jumping above the arc fire. Interesting. So, yeah. going off the conversation we were having earlier about like the you know you sign the contract to become a main of a character, <laughs> you, there are some things you have to do. Yeah. As a Robin, you're obligated to start every match with an arc fire. If you <laughs> don't start the game with an arc fire, you are not actually playing Robin. <laughs> That's the rule. Listen, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Not quite able to follow up into back air there. Not quite able to get the L Thunder. You know, one Look. thing just about the flat stage, you just don't have the protection of the platforms to protect from things like homing attack and really a lot of Sonic's combo starters. So it's just a lot more dangerous in mm. neutral. Yeah, it definitely can be. But we saw Ye playing very well around Battlefield last game, but now on Town and City. How exactly are we going to see things play out? Getting some good damage in there. Very good damage. Honestly, you don't really see the up throw that much, but honestly, Ye was able to make it work there. Good job getting to the ledge to avoid the home attack right there. Mm hmm. For sure. Okay, getting the weak hit of back air there. Going for a lot of those punches to Minecraft, but not quite going to get them. Ye is playing it really patiently to get back to stage, but Daigate is still trying to keep him a little bit walled out, keep him up in the air. Mm. Oh, actually going right through the elf under that a time. We got the book for some hard reads. Not quite going to get any damage with it, though. Oh, oh getting yeah. the cheeky Nosferatu, though. Getting the other kind of read. Yeah. The less literal one. <laughs> We're seeing very even percent so far. Nearly two minutes in. Without any stocks going. Not quite yet. Yeah, he does have the resources back on deck, though. Eleven Sword, Thunder, and all, so uh, he's going to have to be conscious of that. Mm -hmm. A lot of aerials getting thrown out here. Not quite connecting, though. And that Eleven Sword about to be used up. Back or not enough yet. Whoa, the platform. Oh, that was oh, no. very scary. Elwin's going to get him back. No, no. it's not. If the platform kind of messed with things a bit there. Yeah, that was very unfortunate. And Daigate is going to try to take that and carry that momentum forward. He's trying to stay in Ye's face right now, but Ye says, get off of me, throws out the down smash. Mm, that has like a little bit of the hitbox behind. Arc Thunder not going to kill yet, though. I mean, Arc Thunder isn't going to be a tool that you expect to be killing, though, at the same time. Yeah, not on its own, but it does have some good kill confirm setups. Like, you can, like... Mm. You can actually combo that into F-Smash if you're spaced properly. Hmm. Just kind of absurd. <laughs> well, one last use of that Thunder Tome before it runs out. For now. Oh. Nice little combo. I think that was like the falling there into the back air. But back throw is going to kill. Yeah, he's sitting at 58%, which is not the highest, but not exactly where they feel comfortable right now. Yeah. Now, Dege definitely got some good extra credit here so far. Forward throw. Interesting Just option. Get, get off of me. <laughs> Getting hit by the Love and Sword there. Slightly. Trying to catch a jump potentially with L Thunder, but not quite getting it. Good shield. Right now. Yeah, just trying to play. I mean, yeah, he definitely has the like the reach advantage in terms of like how big the Levin Sword is. So he's trying to play at that range. A nice Art Thunder. Very Actually nice Art Thunder. Game. And the one hit the oh my goodness, calling out the roll in. Honestly, Getting that's a tough here. situation because if you roll out, you risk like dying off the side as with the moving platform. So mm -hmm. it's a tough situation. Yeah, the stage itself motivates you to roll in. 
Yeah, right now Daige has just figured some things out, it looks like. And right now is sitting with a very comfortable <laughs> advantage. He tries to land into the back air, but I think the explosion sends Daige upward instead of out from the back air. So, seeing a pretty high percent, but not going to be dead just yet. Good forward air there. Getting Daige out of there for a second, but going to have to find a way to take off that second stock here. Oh, that was a far arc fire right there. Our thunder goes so far, it's actually insane. Yeah, right now, what? two minutes are on the clock. It has definitely been a little bit of a slower game, but... <laughs> It might be one of those Sonic timeout games. It potentially oh, could there. be, but we're down to our last stock. And... Yeah, 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 electing to use the last smidge of that Levin Sword so it starts recharging to full as here. Well, as well as the Thunder as well, so Ye's going to have to play this part quite oh, carefully. There, we go. there is the Levin Sword back on deck. Oh, and this is very good. That's a lot of damage. It's about 20% mm -hmm. off that Rapid Jab right at the corner. Oh, sneaking past the Arc Fire, getting that forward tilt. Missing the homing attack. What you gonna do about it? Some platform shenanigans going on for a second. Oh? Yeah, he's uh, managed to build up some of, like, build back some of the the lead that Daye had, but Daye still clearly has the advantage right now. Man and a half on the clock. It's not gonna be too long before it becomes Oof. to be an issue, but. Oh, just oh, living. No. Good DI. Yeah, you can still bring it back here, but it's going to be a bit of an uphill battle to do so. Using a lot of rolls there, the roll going to be lasting longer with the whole way that rolling works in this game. Yeah, it's... That, both these players need to be super, super careful. Like, Daige oh. needs... Like, there's only... There's not even a minute left on the clock, so that is a more pertinent win condition now. Especially mm. with how tough it can be to kill a Sonic sometimes. Yeah, especially on a stage like Town and City with use of the platforms. Daga can absolutely elect for a, a safer kind of approach of just chill and hanging back, potentially. We've gotten two fake kill screens now. Yep, all right, let's see if we can make it any more. Is that the no. third back here? Third time is the charm. Looks like Daga I... will be moving on. That was a very, very close set, though. That was extremely close. Very well played to both players, honestly. Absolutely. Um, Daga making the proper adaptations. Figuring some things out um, out about the matchup and really a very solid game three. For sure. So it seems like Daige will be moving on to winners semifinals. And the next game that we have here for winners quarterfinals is going to be Super Striker versus Duplex. Yes. So Alright, so I know everyone everyone is the biggest Sonic fan here, right? So <laughs> We are ready for the second round of Sonic in these winner's quarters. 